Right, welcome to Asian Banking and Finance TV. We are here today with Stephen Brooks, the Chief Technology Officer of Teradata, to talk about trends in banking for Asia and also a little bit about what we can expect at Teradata Universe this year. How are today's banks positioned in terms of data reliability? I, I think that uh, data quality is a big issue in the data warehouses of, of a lot of banks because uh, the information that people collect in their operational systems, generally the financial figures and figures that it takes to sort of do the transaction processing are correct, but a lot of the information for making decisions is either not there or not necessarily accurate. So data quality is a, is a big issue with uh, data warehousing in today's banks. What challenges do consultants face when designing data warehouse for banks? I think one of the biggest challenges is certainly relates to data quality in that banks always assume that the data is cleaner than it is. I often say that if a bank tells me their data is dirty, I know it's dirtier. If they tell me it's clean, I know they haven't looked at it yet. Uh, and, and it just is always an underestimation of how, how much time and effort really it takes to get clean data. The other thing that I think consultants have a big challenge in is that organizations want it all at once and big bang projects never succeed. So it's very important from a methodology point of view to use a phase deliverable strategy, you know, 90 to 180 days. If, if you do something less than 90 days, it's probably not particularly interesting, there's not enough meat there. Beyond 180 days, nobody cares anymore, right? So you, you've gotta be able to time box. Typically 120 days is the ideal time frame for each phase of delivery in a data warehouse, but you know, it, it's not a project it's a program. It's got to be ongoing delivery of value. Teradata's solutions are industry specific. Can you tell us about solutions for the banking industry? We've got a core technology platform in the database and the appliance platform and that really goes across all industries. Where it gets specific to an industry is we have data models specific to banking. Uh, we have analytic applications like our profitability calculator and our analytic CRM solution that are very specific to the banking industry. And our delivery organization is vertically aligned. So the people that work on the deployment are, uh, you know, very conversant in banking. Uh, they don't have to be, you know, taught the terminology or the data and so on. They come in, hit the ground running, and uh, we know generally where the value is going to be as well. So which projects are the ones that make sense first, etc. So there's a uh, industry-aligned technology stack around the data model and the analytic applications, but there's also uh, industry alignment in the delivery, which is, to my mind, just as important. What is the future direction and roadmap you're seeing for banks in the region and for data warehousing technology? I, I think that uh, a big part of that roadmap, particularly for banks, is this migration from what I would call traditional data warehousing to active data warehousing. Traditional data warehousing is, is very passive, reporting on what happened yesterday, using history to project the future and so on, and that's all good stuff. It's important to develop a strategy using information that's uh, gleaned from historical performance of the bank. But in the end, the strategy is only as good as the execution. So active data warehousing is about what's happening right now and how am I going to enact decisions based on today's data today. Uh, that's a big deal. And in Southeast Asia, banks are really not yet there for the most part. Uh, we see in other marketplaces uh, this is a big deal and I know that Southeast Asia is going to you know, come right along uh, with that trend. Now, Teradata University is coming to Singapore this year. What can we expect and what are the reasons people should go? The value of Teradata Universe is, is uh, along a number of different dimensions. I actually think the most important value is the networking that goes on. There will be customers and prospects there from you know, all kinds of different industries. Banking industry is, is certainly a, a heavy one in uh, the Teradata Universe events in, in this region. Uh, there will be international players. You know, people from in, in the past there have been people from Barclays, from Bank of America, from Wells Fargo Bank, from uh, a ANZ Bank. You know, national players that you can exchange ideas with and uh, that networking to me is one of the most important things. But of course the sessions, there's all kinds of content on best practices from a business point of view as well as best practices from a technology point of view. So it's, it's education and networking, those are really the, the, the main things. Over the last 12 months what interesting changes have you seen in the industry and how is that affecting banks approach to using their data? In 
financial services, certainly the economic crisis has put a very large emphasis on risk analytics. I think that you know, previous years most of the emphasis was on uh, customer relationship analytics, which is of course very important. You want to identify your best customers, you want to grow those customers, you want to retain them, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, success in customer relationship management actually concentrates risk. Right? because you get more and more of the customer relationship uh, and so now there's an emphasis on well how do I manage that risk effectively and there's some very interesting interrelationships between customer relationship management and risk management. Having one single source of truth from which both those sets of analytics are sharing access to the same data, you've got consistent decision making is absolutely critical. In the past if, you know, of course all banks had customer relationship management analytics, they had risk uh, analytics, but they were often in different departments, different data, different data marts. The trend is consolidate that data, consolidate multiple data marts into an enterprise solution and, and really get the, the whole picture. Yeah. I mean certainly the credit guys would never be looking at what the, uh, what the front office sales guys are looking at, but often that would provide a complete picture. And They've saved a lot of bad decisions being made. Absolutely. And, and in fact, even to go one step further, right, there's, there's the sort of, you know, the, the, the sales and, 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 and uh, sort of risk people getting in line. But even within risk, you had islands. You know, the mortgage people weren't talking to the credit card people, weren't talking to the, you know, consumer loan people and so on. So the, there were often multiple data marts even across functional lines. You've got to consolidate those. And then it's got, got, got to start reusing the data even within, you know, the, across the multiple functions uh, of, you know, sales and marketing risk and so on. So there are multiple levels of consolidation going on. I think that in terms of maturity, this, this marketplace is uh, one of our highest growth marketplaces for data warehousing in financial services because in recent years, the, most of the banks in this region really weren't focused on data warehousing at all. Uh, they're really focused on replacing the core banking systems and modernizing and so on. And, and most of them are now done or near done with that process. That creates an infrastructure for, in which now the data is, is much cleaner, much more robust than it was in the past. And, and that opens the door for uh, uh, data warehousing in a uh, very successful way for these organizations. We've uh, seen a big change in marketplaces like uh, 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 Malaysia and Thailand, uh, and, and we expect the, the same to be happening here in, in the Philippines. Stephen Bropes, thank you very much for your time. We look forward to seeing you at Teradata University's May in Singapore. Thank you.